and uh, this video is a little different to the videos I normally do even the YouTube news flash videos are usually just informational but I'm gonna get a little bit editorial here and it's all to do with the stuff that's been going on in the last 12 to 24 hours in regards to the well, I don't know, we, we can call it sub-feed gates or um, sub-feed Armageddon or whatever you want to call it. But basically, a little tweet response from YouTube help in regard to somebody's question has, has caused a literal storm across the YouTube community. Um, particularly when people like H3H3 and, and Boogie and that jump on it and just um, blow it all out of proportion basically that um, somebody had a question something odd was appearing um, happening in their sub feed so they asked YouTube help a question the tweet should be on the screen right now they asked them a question um, as to why it looked different and they and they responded that they were doing some um, experimenting some testing so it wasn't a, 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 a locked in thing it was something they were experimenting with um, and that just blew the roof off all the YouTube drama people. And I tell you, you know, they jump on this like a June bug on a nap or whatever they, whatever the saying is. They jumped on this, and really, it's a very reactionary. And all I can, all I can say is, are you so stupid, or are you just doing it for the drama to get the views? I'm telling you, that's what it looks like to me. If you look at all the solid YouTube help people, they don't jump on this and blow it out of proportion. They wait and find out what's going on and give a measured response. But yet, you get these people like H3H3, for example, because they put out a video very quickly. Um, you know, is YouTube is, is doomed if they do this? This doomed. And they'll acknowledge that it says experiment. They'll acknowledge that there's a it's not a thing yet. But they they carry on like it's the sky is falling, just to grab the views. That's my opinion. This is my opinion. And you know I don't usually get into editorial stuff, but this stuff's been um, <clears throat> doing my head in since before since yesterday my time when I was seeing this stuff popping up on starting to pop up on Facebook and then it, since then Twitter and different places it's ludicrous it's absolutely ludicrous I don't know what to say but since then overnight my time but since then YouTube have come out to clarify this is an experiment this is just some testing we're doing it's not going to happen and even if it does happen you'll have the choice you can have chronological order or you can have a, a more tailored feed and it's up to you. We'll never take that choice away from you, basically, is what they're saying. So, so basically, all these, all these drama channels are blowing out proportion for views. This is my opinion. I'm having a bit... This is my rant about those that carry on and do all this YouTube drama because they know it will get the views. They know it will get the views. Yeah, I'm back again. I just want to jump in uh, after I recorded that on the way to work this morning. Uh, since I've, I've recorded that, I just want to add a few more thoughts. I um, saw the video that Brian G. Johnson put out, and that's going to be up in the card um, if you want to check that out. And I want to co-sign what Brian said because I think he probably hit on the whole point better than, than I probably did in the video that I recorded this morning that you saw uh, most of. Um, in regards to um, YouTube drama, and that's particularly what I was um, aiming at, at fixing, and that probably maybe wasn't communicated totally 100%. Um, maybe come come forward as maybe me looking like I'm defending YouTube, and I'm certainly not doing that because YouTube, um, you know, haven't really earned uh, the creators' trust completely um, over the last few years with all the different things that have gone on. Um, the most recent being the changes to the partner program. You know, I acknowledge that. Um, you know, it's harder for creators now. And, um, you know, and that's something that we all have to um, ad adjust and adapt to. So I just thought I'd jump on and just sort of clarify that 
this is what I'm talking about. I'm talking about, particularly I'm a aiming focusing that I'm complaining and I was ranting about the YouTube drama. So, you know, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm fully pointing the finger at people like H3H3 and people who get on and um, do it for the views, do it for the drama um, um, and sort of grab a little snippet and blow it up like it's the end of the world where, you know, it's not. We know that um, YouTube likes to tinker behind the scenes and then if we find out about the tinkering, people get a little bit up in arms and you wonder why uh, YouTube um, haven't been great at communication in the past because, you know, they do a lot of experiments behind the scenes that people don't really need to know about. Um, but yeah, of course, when it, when, it, when it affects something we see visually, we always have concerns. I just thought I would um, add this little additional pieces of information. Um, I could close it here. Maybe I should close it here. I was going to throw back to the footage I had before where I said, Dark from Dark News on YouTube. And I'll be back with more battles videos later. Well, anyway, it's me, Doug, from Doug Houston YouTube. Do us a clarification and throwing that in here for all you guys. And thank you so much for, if you're watching this, thank you so much. If you've um, been a partner for a while, thank you so much. Um, this is me being more balanced, uh, driving in my car this morning. It was more deliberately recorded as a rant on my um, action camera. So that was the intent, just to be a bit of a rant, which is a bit of out of the field for the channel you know I'm, I'm a lot more measured like i'm talking now uh for these sorts of things so anyway i'm rambling so this is doug from doug houston youtube and i'll catch you later <laughs>